Well, the announcement increase in Social Security benefits didn't seem to affect the markets very much today. Here's a rare sight. The Dow was actually down a half a point. Yes, that's correct. At the close, the Dow is down 0.53 to close at 34,377. The S&P gained more than 13 points to end the day at 43.63 and the tech heavy Nasdaq went up more than 105 points to end trading at 14,571. Well, in a history making move, the Social Security Administration has made a major change to the way your benefits are calculated. Millions of people on Social Security will be receiving a 5.9% benefit hike next year. Now, this is the biggest cost of living adjustment in 39 years. The increase in size in your Social Security checks follows a blast of inflation. The so-called COLA increase amounts to about $92 for the average retired person. Hey, every little bit helps, right? Well, the pandemic actually reduced child poverty in the United States. According to a new study by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, the nation's largest health care foundation says that the change is due to federal programs, including child tax credits. Dr. Richard Basir is the chairman and CEO of the foundation. Basir is also the former head of the CDC under President Obama. In America today, uh, the color of your skin um, has a large impact in terms of the opportunities that, that you have. We are an intentionally segregated society. It's, it's critically important uh, that Congress takes action. There were a number of things that were done during the pandemic that need to be made permanent. Uh, what we've seen is, is child tax credits, uh, which have given money, put money in the pockets of hardworking families with, with children. Those need to be made permanent because if they're not, the gains we've seen in terms of the reduction in poverty uh, will, will go away. Uh, we need the, the universal free school lunch program that was put in during the pandemic. We need that to be made permanent. What that ensures is that every child going to school has a healthy, nutritious uh, a lunch, uh, breakfast to see them through the day. Because it's clear, I'm a pediatrician. Children can't learn if they're hungry. Basir says it's crucial that the 12 states in the country that have not expanded Medicaid do so as soon as possible. That's because affordable insurance has a very large impact on the health and wealth of the black community. Well, for years, black entrepreneurs have been left on the back burner, receiving little to no assistance when it comes to furthering their businesses. But as BNC's Naja Sherman reports, one company is doing their part to help ensure that minority businesses owners get what they need. Meet Champagne Brown, owner of Pop Shop Jewelry and the recipient of Joanne's Fabric and Craft 2020 Minority Creative Grant Program. This grant allowed me to focus my in pocket funds to other things like branding my business, hiring a graphic designer to rebrand. More than 2,000 submitted applications, but only 20 received a $5,000 grant. The grant allowed me to get supplies that Due to COVID, we're like sh like not really in stock at a lot of places. Hey guys, do little cake me here. Keisha Thompson, a New York City baker and instructor, was announced as one of the program's other recipients. I started posting pictures on Facebook and people started reaching out to take classes with me and order my baked goods. When Joanne's notified me that I won the grant, I'm like, wow, this is where I started. I was able to obtain a lot of, you know, materials for the cake side, as well as this new product line with the cookie mixes. Giving both Keisha and Champagne the tools they need to further their success. I purchased some of the plots, so the, some of the supplies for the students and gave it to the school and they shipped it out to each kid. I didn't see a lot of girls that looked like me doing this. And so I really felt like, well, if there is no path for me to follow or anyone that is doing this before me, then why don't I just try my best to blaze my own path and see what happens from there. And Champagne expects the applicant turnout to only get better from here. For BNC, I'm Naja Sherman.
Joanne is continuing its program this year, launching a minority creativity grant program aimed at supporting Hispanic business owners. So if you would like to apply, you still have some time. The deadline is set for this Friday, October 15th, and the winners will be announced in December. Congratulations on all the good work they're doing.